Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we have 2023 Panini Stars and Stripes. You may have seen this box at your local hobby shop and wondered about it. I saw it as well. I saw it today. I went out to a hobby store and was wondering about it. Just came out a few days ago. So we're going to check this out today and see if it is worth the price of admission. A box of these costs about $75 a piece, which... When you take into account that there are, I think, seven autographs or relics in here, that doesn't seem all that bad. And typically with Stars and Stripes, you also see this show up retail-wise in blaster box form at some point as well. So we might be seeing that in the coming weeks at Walmart. So let's go ahead and rip these boxes open and see what we can find. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. Hope everyone's had a very pleasant Wednesday. Tomorrow we'll have a... Face, not Face Off Friday, that's Friday. Thursday will be Throwback Thursday. It's 1983 Fleer. I got a box from some guy's attic. Some old guy had, had a whole bunch of boxes up there. And uh, I got one, and I think it's legit. I'm really hoping they're not searched. So we'll check that out tomorrow and look for the Ryan Sandberg, Wade Boggs, and Tony Gwynn rookie cards. Face Off Friday, we're going to try Blasters versus Retail Boxes. And then I got a new card store that I just found out. My brother told me about it. I checked that one out today. And uh, ended up spending almost $1,500 there. So we'll bring you that haul on, uh, I think, Saturday. So here we go. USA Baseball. Look for OptiChrome base set along with the sparkling parallels. There's five packs per box. Eight cards per pack. 40 cards all together in these. 100 cards in the base set. And guess what? Just when you thought you knew all your prospects... From 2023 Bowman, you learned all the names of Drew Jones and... Uh, Justin Crawford and the like. Well, now you have a whole bunch of new names to learn. These are guys that aren't even anywhere near the minor leagues. We got like uh, Ethan Holiday is a big name in this. Ethan Holiday is Jackson Holiday's little brother. He's like 15 years old and he's got a card in here that's a good one. Also, you'll be looking for some of the top prospects for the draft. Dylan Cruz, I think, is the, the best one. So let's see what we can find in here. I was looking over the top, at least the top 10 names on the MLB uh, draft prep chart. The top 10 guys most likely to go high. Drew, uh, Dylan Cruz is number one. Paul Skeens, number two. Wyatt Langford, number three. Walker Jenkins, four. Max Clark, five. So we'll see if we can find any of those guys. Some of the top names. The cards are nice looking. So far, so good. They're all chrome. And you're going to have lots and lots of hits, like this Kendall George from the USA national team. Let's see if we get any recognizable names. Camden Koziel is numbered out of 149. Got Wyatt Langford. That's the number three overall draft prospect on the board. And Jake Brown as well on that first one for Jonathan Roberts. Again, these were $75 a box if you want to grab one. We might have these for the Saturday Showdown Box Wars this week. Since there are some numbered cards, we might do it by the pack. All right, here we go with our next one. We've got a Kyle Teal. Here's a hit. It's going to be Jaden Woods. So Jaden Woods is the hit here. That's two autographs. I guess I'm going to try to keep track of the hits here off to the side so I can kind of remember what's coming up. So out of 200, a Relic Auto. Next, we have a Relic out of 250 from the 18U team, that's going to be Brendan Phillips. And there he is, Ethan Holiday. See the resemblance to Jackson Holiday? This kid is on the 15U team. He's probably like a sophomore, but he's next in line for that uh, that famous Holiday family. Matt Holiday, of course, playing the big leagues for a long time. His son, Jackson Holiday, was the number one overall pick. Saw him in Bowman draft, and now it's Ethan Holiday in Stars and Stripes. All right, here we go with this next pack up. If I can get it going here. It'll be interesting to see how Panini, uh, you know, hangs in there going forward. If you haven't heard, they've lost their um, their license to all current players. So Don Russ is going to be interesting. This is where there's a Kyle Teal. Don Russ is likely just going to be old players and prospects like this. Riley Marsh next up. Nice out of 23. It is not numbered. We've got a Brady Marietta and nothing else in there. All right, next pack up. So far, it's been all autographs and one relic. 
which is good. Jack Hurley leads things off this next one. We've got a national team program card here of Micah Matthews. A little piece of his jersey. Man, that looks like it's a real dirty jersey there from Micah Matthews. He's on the development program, so I don't have any information on him. We've got a Ross Dunn, which is numbered out of 50. And Carson Montgomery is the last one. A lot of these guys end up getting drafted. Let's see what we have in our last pack here in box number one. We're doing four of these today. We've got Jaden Mohammed is going to be the other relic there. So uh looks like we have he's on the 18 U team. Interesting. And another hit for the national team, USA national team. It is Matthew Champion. Matthew Champion, the final one there. So with Stars and Stripes, some people don't really care for them all that much because a lot of names that people have never heard of before. Myself included, I've got a cheat sheet off to the side of the top names. And uh, you know, these guys, you'll probably see a lot of these guys in Stars and Stripes coming up in maybe 2023 Bowman Draft come December. Stephanie's up next at spot number two. Let's see what we can find for you, Stephanie, in our second box. All right, we'll go ahead and start this one off. Found a Juan Soto rookie card today at the card shop, by the way, for freaking 50 cents, and it was a parallel. I couldn't believe it. Ryan Harwood right there. We've got a... Kendall George out of 50. Took that 99. There's, man, that's a kind of an inter interesting signature from Mason Brassfeld. This kid's on the 18U team. Wyatt Langford. And nothing else going on there. 2023 Donruss, I think, is the next Panini product coming out. And uh, I can't wait to check that set list out. Because like I mentioned before, no current big league players at all, in there at all. Aiden Schwartz is the next hit. And we've got another autograph of Cade Townsend. None of these guys so far on my top 10 list. Dylan Cruz is the big one. Next pack, we've got Matthew Champion yet again. Be nice to pull a low-numbered relic or autograph. And there, how about that? Ask and you will receive. It's a one-of-one. One. There's the designation right there. You can see it on the card. Panini writes it out, one of one. So one of one on this one for Stephanie. I don't know what the odds are of that, but uh, man, <laughs> just ask for a low number card. Say Ryan Bruno. He's on the collegiate national team as well. Let's see if Ryan Bruno is in the top 10. He is not in the top 10. I don't see his name. He's not in the top 30. But hey, you got a one of one right there, which is still pretty cool. I don't know what that's going to go for. You might want to toss it up on eBay for $100 best offer and see what you get. Christian Rodriguez out of 149 in there as well. So one of one. Next pack up. This one feels pretty thick. Let's see if we can find something else. Blake Dickerson from the USA team. It is out of 23. I don't really know what the difference is between why is this a one of one? The cards kind of look the same, I guess, maybe because that has stars coming out, and this is more kind of like an atomic cracked ice type deal. It'd be cool if they would have put the Super Fractor swirls on there, the gold vinyl swirls. There's Blake Mitchell. That one's out of 250. And one more pack here. To wrap up Stephanie's box, Stephanie will also be in our face-off Friday this coming Friday. We're going to try the Bowman Blasters. Bowman Retail stole the show last Friday. They beat the uh, Jumbo and also the Hobby. So we'll try try Blasters against them and see how that goes. we got Jacob Wilson. That's a good one right there. Jacob Wilson on the MLB prospect rankings for the draft. He's number seven out of Grand Canyon University, six foot three shortstop. So he'll likely be a top 10 pick. Pietro Verzin, I don't know much about him, out of 72. U18, looks like he might play for Team Italy. Yep. Team Italy there, Cameron Johnson, and another Ethan Holiday, And nothing else going on there, but a one of one for Stephanie. So, Stephanie, congratulations on that. It's a nice, nice surprise. Two more boxes left. This next one is for Jason Smith. Good luck, Jace. We'll see what we can find in your next box. Take all these out.
and see what we can do here. Looking forward to opening that 83 Fleer box right now. I have opened an 83 box before, although it was four years ago. So it's been a long time. We've gotten more folks on the channel now that have maybe never seen me crack 83. There's Cameron Tilly. So I figured, why not? Might as well give it a try and cross our fingers. Jake Brown is out of 99. And just hope that, you know, it's legit. I took the box. I asked the guy at the card store, the new card store that I went to. It's, it's in Ebensburg, Pennsylvania. It's called uh, Great Vintage Picks. They've been around for a week at their new location. Overall, they've been in business for about six months. And uh, I gave the, the box a good hearty sniff because I'm looking for mildew. This card is creased right out of the box. See that? We're running along the whole length of the Jake Brown. What is with the quality control of some cards recently? Joseph Gonzalez. We pulled a Marcelo Meyer, number to 30 autograph, in our break last night, our team break. And it was PSA 1 right out of the pack. It had a big, big crease in it. It looked like somebody stepped on the card. It was awful. Adam Hatchman is the next one up. For Jason. So hopefully, I can't remember who got that card, but I hope that they can get a replacement, maybe a similar card of a similar player. Brock Wilkins is going to be the next hit here. This one is numbered out of 200. It's the Silhouettes card right there. Brock Wilson. I can't I'm I'm never going to be able to remember all these names. Next up, we've got Nicholas Hawkins on the 18U team out of 22. And nothing else in there. Let's see what we got in this next one. Some people will think, oh, there's probably better ways to spend my 75 bucks. But if, you know, we'll get a bunch of autos in here. Now, a lot of these guys will never even make the big leagues, obviously. They're like 15 years old. Ethan Holiday's got a good shot, though. This one is going to be a nice refractor, Ethan Holiday. We'll get that one sleeved up. We've got Vaughn Neck. Necker right there. Nekar? I don't know. Vaughn is going to be not numbered. It's his auto relic. A red star of Colt Emerson out of 149. And on to the last pack for Jason Smith. Let's see what we've got. We've got a Allard Helms relic. And a Drew Beam is the next autograph there. So Dylan Cruz, the number one prospect, still yet to be found. He's got a base card in the set. I don't. Maybe I just glanced over it by accident because all these new names of these high schoolers and collegiate players that aren't professionals still learning them. Josh Alinebarger's up next. Let's see what we can find for Josh here. Good luck. Get this one opened up. There we go. This is the last box of the preview video. There's 20 boxes in a case. So we got 16 left. We'll save them for a Saturday showdown. Probably sell it by the pack if you guys want to go after a nice haul of autographs. It's going to be a lot of autographs in 16 boxes with 7 autos per box. It'll be about 100 autographs. Wyatt Langford out of 25. That, once again, is the number 3 overall prospect in this product. Got another auto here. U18. Shh. J-O-N Lin. Of course, can't read that name. There's Dylan Cruz. So this guy right here, he might end up being the number one pick in the draft. The Pirates do have the number one pick. Dylan Cruz is an outfielder from Louisiana State. He's 21, coming out of college. It says on the back, his drive for excellence isn't limited to the area between the lines. He wants to be a model citizen as well, and he does his part by devoting time and energy to kids with special needs. My family always tells me it's great to be a good ball player, but even better to be a better person. So, hey, man, I'm a big Dylan Cruz fan. That's pretty awesome use of your time helping out kids with special needs. So, hey, I hope the Pirates draft you, Dylan Cruz. Supposedly you're a great baseball player and also a great person. All right, we've got a out of 10. This is Blake Dickerson. We've got Aiden Miller out of 250. And three more packs left in this video tonight. Let's see what we've got going on in this next one. There's James Tronstein. It looks like he's trying to prove he can juggle, but that just looks to me like he just tossed those three up in the air. 
and probably has no idea how to juggle. There's a Silhouettes card. This one might be low numbered. It is a Camden Cozy Owl, and that's out of 25. Not too bad. Austin Nyes out of 149. And here we are on our last, actually, last two packs now. For Josh Lionbarger. Cameron Tilly leads it off. Cade Townsend's in there. We've got Ryan Hugendorn. Man, that's an interesting name there. Hugendorn. And we've got Jack Frankel is going to be the autograph. Carson Montgomery once again. And there's Paul Skeens, who's the number two on the MLB prospect rankings list from MLB.com. A lot of these guys are on that list, these collegiate and some high schoolers. Looks like the highest ranked high schooler is Walker Jenkins, 18 years old, out of South Brunswick, North Carolina High School. And we have Brady Tigart, which is going to be our final hit right there. Autograph. And that will do it for Stars and Stripes. Trey Morgan, final card. So thanks for watching, folks. Figure I'd give you a look at that new release in case you see it and you're wondering, is it worth 75 bucks? Well, it's going to be a whole lot of guys you've never heard of before, but if you have a list of certain players that you're looking for, it could be an interesting rip. So thanks for watching. Tomorrow we'll have Throwback Thursday with 1983 Fleer. It's a box from an old guy's attic. That's the story I got, and uh, let's hope it's good. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Wednesday night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.